My name is Dan Smith. I was born in England, grew up in New Zealand. I own Capture Tattoo, played music my whole life. I've been pretty lucky to uh, travel the world doing both of those things. Growing up in, in a really sort of untouched country, when you're a kid, you, you, you're always kind of looking outside of the country for the things that excite you or whatever. For me, it was obviously tattooing and music. I got my first tattoo in the kitchen of a, a local like punk house. From the outside looking in, it's always, you know, oh my God, what, what are these kids up to? They're going down the wrong path. But really, it was a special group of people that I was fortunate enough to be around. In the mid-90s, tattooing was very, very different and you couldn't just jump into it like you could today. So you really had to learn from people who worked very hard at a craft. So I had a, a weekly, regular appointment at the studio. I would try to finish my job of delivering rags and overalls to mechanics and stuff so I could get back to the tattoo shop. The two guys that introduced me to tattooing, Dean Sacred and Dan Anderson, were just like the greatest, most you know, inspirational people. I think my style is heavily influenced by traditional tattooing. Obviously Sailor Jerry is, is a pioneer and tattooing wouldn't be where it is today without him. And I think it's great to give back to the people that came before you. I just feel very lucky that I was around that and got to get a good uh, understanding of hard work and, and what that can sort of do for you. And when you're a 15 year old kid, you know, those people really have the most effect on you. Dean was in a band also. It was just a world that I discovered that I knew made me feel good, where a lot of growing up really doesn't make you feel that good. The most nerve-wracking experience was doing my first tattoo. It came with a huge level of excitement as well. I did a huge koi fish from wrist to ditch, which I probably should have never tried to tackle, but hey, um, I did it. As much as you're freaking out, you realize that you're kind of opening the door for something potentially beautiful. My first tattoo experience was so huge for me that I'll always think about that and I'll always think about how positive it was. I think I'll always be honored um, when somebody asks me to do their first tattoo. That's the bar that was set for me, um, is just make someone feel on top of the world for a day or whenever they look at the tattoo. Dad was a huge music fan, and some of my fondest memories are just flipping through his records and really analyzing every single aspect of the wide variety of music that he was into. But to me, the new wave and punk rock ideals really kind of just hit home from a young age. The connection between music and tattooing is so strong because it always has been. It's really cool to be able to tattoo music-related tattoos for people. My first tattoo was a music-related tattoo, so I think I'll always have a great understanding of what that could mean for somebody else. Music is the soundtrack to, to life and whatever you, know, you put yourself through in life. It's such a powerful thing. To be a pioneer of something I feel comes with a necessity to break rules. As much as it is important to understand progression, you really need to know and understand where it comes from. Anybody that's doing something that they love out of true passion it is a rule breaker, be it music, uh, you know, photography, anything like that, that's the passion of life. Advertising and society is kind of pushing everything down your throat of, of, of a way that you need to be. So I think the sooner that you realize that you're your own person and you have your own mind, and that's a beautiful thing and that's something to be pushed, the better. We're all here to make an imprint and leave our own specific individual mark. It's easy to bow down and kind of take the slow road of clocking in and clocking out of, of a job you dislike. Too many people are kind of accustomed to that and that's, you know, they think that there's no escape, but it's not until you take that risk that you really understand that you can. Well, if that means being a rule breaker, I think it's really important. And even though I didn't intend to ever be a pioneer for things, it turned out that way. And you have to embrace it if someone sees you as a positive influence. Spread that. Everybody should be a